Now in your Redux application with the flow you already know, right now we're having our store and we're having our view, our application. And in this application, as you already saw in the last video, we're really only wiring up one component to Redux, our app component. The home and or the main and the user component, they're not wired up. They get their data through props. That's a typical pattern. In your Redux React application, you typically have multiple components, ones that are smart, so-called containers, and ones that are dumb, so-called presentation components. The dumb components are not directly connected to Redux. They don't know about the state. That's why they're dumb. The smart components, the containers, they are connected to Redux. That's why they are smart. They know about the state. So back in our application, the app component here would be a smart component, a container, because it's connected to Redux. It's knowing all about the actions and the state or the props. Main and user are dumb components. And in bigger applications or in smaller ones too, if you use Redux, you typically split them up. You have a folder named container, which holds all your smart components, so the app component. And then you have the components folder, which has the dumb components. Now, since this really is a, well, dumb component, there is no need to create a class extending React component here. Instead, we can use a stateless component as taught in the React.js basic series, if you remember this. So here I can also simply export a constant called main, which is not extending this because it's not a class. Instead, this is a method or a function which gets props passed into it and then simply returns me, well, some HTML if you want to call it like this. Here I can then still use props, but without the this keyword, just props, the one passed here. And I can assign or use the same pattern here in my user component. It's a stateless component too. Gets the props, whoops, and simply returns me the HTML of this component, like this. Now, in order to use this and to make it work again, I'll have to go to my app component. First, I need to adjust the imports. My IDE automatically did this, but make sure to adjust them too, if your IDE doesn't do this. And then this should still work. But in my index.js file, I also need to make sure that this import here is adjusted. Again, my IDE did this, but make sure you're importing your app from slash container and not from slash components. And this might also be renamed to containers. Again, adjust this import, should hold all. So containers should hold all your smart components, might be one more than one. Your containers and components, well, holds all these stateless, the dumb components. So if I save this, reload my page, it should still work fine, and it does. But now I get this separation of presentation components here in the components folder and containers connected to Redux in the containers folder. 